All right, time to plunge into some more Mass Effect 2. Not entirely sure what happened there, but... Well, anyways, this is where we left off last time, and now, let's continue. Um, hmm. So this planet was depleted. We're gonna go over here now. Ooh. You know things are gonna start off good when you uh, see a rich sign. Probe launched. Probe launched. Hey, welcome back. Uh, I'm doing actually uh, all right. How's it going on your side? Ooh, didn't expect it to come this quickly. Probe. And I just started this a few moments ago. Probe away. I'm in the money. I'm in the money. Well, I don't know if I would say money would be the correct terminology for this, but... I'm in the resources. I'm in the resources. Da, 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 da. Oh, nice. You got 50 followers. I had 50 for a while, but I don't know what happened. I mean, I had a lot of followers for a while, then all of a sudden, pfft, things went downhill. But it's like I previously stated before in my other streams, I am not risking my health just for a few hundred thousand followers. Actually, now that I think about it, I had a lot more, but I had a sneaky hunch that these were fake followers, meaning like the accounts that were made were, weren't real. But I digress. Launching probe. Probe away. Jeez, a 24 hour straight stream? Well, I mean, it's not the craziest thing I've ever heard. I think I've heard that somebody did like a stream for like two weeks straight, no breaks. Well, if anybody's gonna be streaming that long here, uh, I sure hope you don't have any dinner dates planned. Because like I've said before, and I'll say this for the last time, I'm not risking my health just for just for 100,000 followers. Sorry, my health always comes first. Probe launched. Okay, so this planet is finished. We're gonna need some more probes too. All right. Um, I know this is not exactly going to be the most exciting stream, but hey. When there's uh, resources involved, I put my nose to the grindstone. Probe launched. Launching probe. Launching 
launching probe. Launching probe. Probe away. Launching probe. Probe launched. Probe away. Probe away. Away. Launching probe. Wait, there's still a moderate amount of resources here, and I'm only a third of the way done with the probes. Launching probe. Well, anyways, as far as your 24-hour stream goes, well, I do wish you the best. Just uh, don't do anything I want to do. Launching probe. Trust me, it never works. Probe away. Launching probe. Launching probe. Probe away. Alright, we're done here. Oof, planet is depleted. So it's back to the depot once again. <sighs> All right, um, oh, the real question is where to start. You know, yes, I am going to agree to that last part of the statement. Um, the last few hours are going to suck because... By that point, you're going to be drained. And you're definitely going to feel it. Launching probe. I also hope you plan on doing breaks in between streams, because if you're going to do a 24-hour straight stream, that's definitely going to be a very unhealthy choice. Probe launched. Probe launched. Oh, that's good. 
Because I think I've been hearing stories of people like streaming for like three, four days straight. And boy, did that catch up to them. But, like I said, these are just stories. I can't verify anything without proof. Like I said, I do wish you the best. Launching probe. Launching probe. Probe launched. Launching probe. Launching probe. Launching probe. I can definitely, and I'm not going to be streaming this the whole time. That would be boring. She is. So, so let me get this straight. Someone did a stream for an entire month, despite the fact of having breaks. If I read that right. Probe launched. Yes. I would never do that sort of thing. Not today, not tomorrow, not ever. Probe away. The most I could probably do is probably four hours. That's as far as I would go. Launching but probe. I would have to get a real early start for that to happen. Like literally. Probe launched. Launching probe. Probe away. Stupid planet, let me go already here. I mean, this is great, I'm collecting all sorts of goodies, but uh. Oh, that reminds me, these resources are gonna come into play later. Huh, interesting. I was gonna say, I think doing an entire stream for an entire month without food or sleep. I think it would tax even the most hardy of individuals. There we go, finally completed. Right, we're gonna have to come back because I don't have enough probes. Now, where's the norm? Oh, it's over here. There's the crash site. Anomaly detected. Anomaly detected. Probe away. All right, we gotta go find this anomaly. Launching probe. Oh, the light indicator. Okay. There it is. Found it. Alright, let's land. Whew. And I will be coming back with some more probes to get some more goodies.
So this is a solo mission. So before I do any of that here, I'm gonna... Oh look, there's the Mako. Let's have a look around. Okay, so we're on a manhunt for dog tags. And these things are scattered. Ooh. I'll take some element zero. Don't mind if I do. Starting in the morning and ending like 2 a.m. Dang. Oh. Yeah, like I said, the most I could probably do is just about four hours, but that would be as far as I would go. How many dog tanks do I have now? I have eight. See you later, buddy. Okay, so we're not quite ready to leave yet. We're only about halfway done with our dog tag collection. Okay, see you in just a bit.
here. Presley himself. Rest in peace, Presley. That's all I can say. Let's go get that element zero. Unless I got it already. Now, over here. Oh, yep. Sure enough. go. Yep, one more to go, and then we're out of here. That's always the last one that's the hardest to find. I doubt it'll be over there. But boy, this ship has seen better days.
shark tank has got to be here somewhere. Like I've always said, it's always got to be in the place you least expect. I thought it'd be here near the Mako, but it isn't. Sure as heck, he's not over there. Yeah, because there'd be no way to get around. Yeah. I didn't think so. Give another few more moments here. If I can't find the last tag, we're out of here. I don't want to spend all day searching for one thing. That would be a waste. Oh, wait a minute. There it is. Found it. Great. That's all of them. I think that's everything. Oh, wait a minute. There it is. All right, let's get out of here. And I got some more Element Zero to boot, too. So, sweet. Let's get out of here. There it is. Alright, let's go. Job here is done. Well, I guess I 
can always come back later. It's not that big of an issue. Fuel reserves at 50%. Because these fuel depots, you're not going to come across too much. Well, let's head for Omega now. Let's go recruit some people. I think everything will be fine. So here we are in Omega. Not quite the Citadel, but uh. Hi. Welcome to Omega. It'll You're do. new here, aren't you? I can always tell. Allow me to. Oh, hello, Mocklin. I was just. Leave Fargot now. Oh, of course, Mocklin. Whatever she wants. Blasted scavengers, welcome to Omega, Shepard. You know who I am? Of course. We had you tagged the moment you entered the Terminus systems. You're not as subtle as you think. Aria wants to know what brings a dead Spectre to Omega. I suggest you go to Afterlife now and present yourself. Cut the attitude. I'm not here to cause problems for Omega. Things explode around you, Shepard. You can't blame Aria for keeping an eye on you. Afterlife, now. I'm receiving quarantine warnings about the slums where Dr. Morton Solis runs the clinic. Anticipate resistance at the transport station. All right, so we have to go to the afterlife. regarding plans to deal with the Archangel. There's a recruiting station at Afterlife that may have information on him. Oh, look who it is. Zayi Masani. Please. You have to help me. No one said you could talk, jackass. You Zayi Masani? Yeah, that's me. You must be Commander Shepard. Hey, we have a galaxy to save. I assume you've been briefed? I've done my homework. Cerberus sent me everything I needed to know. My contacts told me we're picking up one man, not two. Batarian delinquent. Pissed off someone rich enough to hire me to go after him. And for my bring him in alive rates, even. Please. I didn't do it. I said <laughs> shut it. Tried to leave me on a chase all over the systems. You should have known better. These people always run to Omega. I assume you've been briefed? I've done my homework. Cerberus sent me everything I needed to know. What's your relationship with Cerberus? Easy. Cerberus is paying me a lot of money to help you on your mission. That's the long and short. Not many mercs would take a suicide mission for the pay. Most mercs don't get an offer like the one Cerberus sent me. This mission doesn't sound like good business, but your elusive man can move a lot of credits. My contacts told me... Batarian killing... Tried to leave me on a chase all over the systems. You should have known better. These people always run to Omega. What's gonna happen to him? I'm gonna turn him in for the bounty. Don't much care what happens after that. I always like Zaid. Good to have you, Zaid. We have a lot to do. That's what they tell me. I assume the elusive man told you about our arrangement. No. I guess he decided to leave that information out of the dossier. Good thing I asked. Picked up a mission a little while back, just before I signed on with Cerberus. Thought you might be interested. You heard the name Vito Santiago? He's the head of the Blue Suns. 
runs the whole and we're going to be running into them at some point. Since he recently captured an Elfell Ashland refinery on Zoya and is using their workers for slave labor. The company wants it dealt with. I'll make sure we get that done. Good. Get it out of the way so we can concentrate on being big goddamn heroes. I better turn this thing in before it starts to stink. I'll be locked and loaded next time you're ready to get some killing done. Huh. Well, that's one way to, uh... Well, that's one way to, uh... uh stop someone from escaping. And I think the price of revenge was part of a... The special edition of Mass Effect 2. Because I think it came with Zaid. Uh, anyways, enough of that. Our next stop is the afterlife. Of course, another sleazy uh, run, another sleazy club, club in the galaxy. Let's get some information first. I don't think I'll ever mind. Gotta hope there's some info. There she is. That's close enough. Stand still. If you're looking for weapons, you're not doing a very good job. Can't be too careful with dead specters. That could be anyone wearing your face. I was told you're the person to talk to if I have questions. They're clean. Depends on the questions. You run Omega? <laughs> I am Omega. But you need more. Everyone needs more something, and they all come to me. I'm the boss, CEO, queen, if you're feeling dramatic. It doesn't matter. Omega has no titled ruler and only one woman. Don't fuck with Arya. I like it. Easy to remember. If you forget, someone will remember. Then I toss your sorry ass out the nearest airlock. So, what can I do for you? I'm trying to track down Archangel. You and half of Omega. You want him dead too? Why's everyone after him? He thinks he's fighting on the side of good. There is no good side to Omega. Everything he does pisses someone off. It's catching up to him. I'm putting a team together. He's on my list. Interesting. You're gonna make some enemies teaming up with Archangel. That's assuming yes, we you will get to him. We're making enemies. He's in a bit of trouble right now. What kind of trouble? The local Merc groups have joined forces to take him down. They've got him cornered, but it sounds like they're having trouble finishing him off. They've started hiring anybody with a gun to help. Sounds like that might be our ticket in. They're using a private room for recruiting. Just over there. I'm sure they'll sign you up. What can you tell me about Archangel? Not as much as I'd like. He showed up here several months ago and started causing all sorts of problems. If you make your own laws, which everyone here does, he makes life difficult. He's reckless and idealistic. But he seems to know enough to stay clear of me. Which Merc groups are after Archangel? 
Blue Suns, Eclipse, Blood Pack. They're Omega's major players. Unless they're at war, you'll never see them together. But one thing they hate more than each other is Archangel. How's the old saying of, uh, the enemy of my enemy is my friend? Do you hate Archangel? I don't have time for hate, but I distrust them all equally. For now, I'm happy just to let them kill each other. I appreciate the help. See if you still feel that way when the Mercs realize you're here to help him. So, you must know what's what on Omega. Everything that's worth knowing. I don't usually give it out freely. Information is power. Mundane things you can find yourself. Take a walk in a back alley or buy one of the Mercs a drink. Better yet, talk to the entertainers. They give great tours. Just don't waste my time. Tell me how you got set up here. That's as privileged as information gets. I have many friends and enemies I keep at varying distances. I don't count you among either. We'll see how useful you prove. Short answer, mind your own damn business. One scan and we're straight to business? People are usually more concerned about who I am. Your death was downplayed, but hardly what I call a secret. I had to make sure it was really you. You could have been anyone, anything. Whatever you need will come out on its own. I'm curious, but Omega doesn't really care about you. I'm looking for Morton Solis. Do you know where I can find him? The Solarian doctor? Last I heard, he was trying to help plague victims in the quarantine zone. I always liked Morton. He's as likely to heal you as he is to shoot you. What can you tell me about him? Used to be part of the Solarian Special Tasks group. He's brilliant and dangerous. Just don't get him talking. He never shuts up. If you really need to find him, take a shuttle to the quarantine zone. No guarantee they'll let you in, of course. Thanks for the information. Yes. Just try not to bring the plague back with you. Okay, so that's our information for both individuals. I hear you're recruiting. Hmm. Why don't you step inside? You'll get paid when the job's done, just like everyone else. Who's next? You three look like you could do some damage. Looking for a good fight? Sure, if this is the place to go after Archangel. This is the place. Standard fee is 500 credits each. You get paid when the job's done. If you die, your friends don't collect your share. You'll need your own weapons and armor. Looks like you got that covered. And no, this does not make you a member of the Blue Suns Eclipse of the Blood Pack. You are a freelancer, period. Any questions? Why are the Mercs working together to take down Archangel? You haven't been on Omega long. He does everything he can to screw with us. Shipments go missing. Operations are compromised. Every month it gets worse. Derek and the other bosses are tired of losing credits. And men. Is he a heavy hitter? How many Merc bosses are involved in this attack? Yeah, Derek runs the Blue Suns. But all three bosses are overseeing the operation. Jared's leading the Eclipse and Garm's the head of the Blood Pack. Derek's in charge, but... The others would never say that. Oh, okay. I'm surprised they're in on this at all, but I guess getting rid of Archangel is worth it. Well, I, like I said before, I do wish you the best. Let's see here. What do we do once we're there? How do we get to Archangel? The Mercs will tell you when you get there. Last I heard, they were putting the Freelancers into scouting groups. They attack in waves to distract Archangel while we try to get past his defenses. So we're just fodder for his bullets? If you don't like it, don't sign up. But if you do your job right, it's easy credits. Besides, what are the odds he can kill all of you? Seems like a lot of trouble for just one guy. You had a whole team, but we dealt with them. Now he's just one guy. But he's got the advantage. It's his base of operations, and he knows we're coming. He's planned for an attack like this. We've lost a lot of men trying to get to him already. It's going to be tough to get to him like chasing a porch out of the sewer pipes. But that's where we're recruiting. If we just keep throwing fighters at him, we'll get him eventually. 
That sounds kind of reckless, though, just throwing dude after dude after dude after just one guy. Where's the attack taking place? Archangel's base of operations. He's been hiding right under our noses. I can't tell you exactly where you're going. Despite the fact I don't have a nose. There. Where do we go? Just head over to the transport depot outside the club. One of our boys will take you from there. Send in the next one. Hey, is this where I sign up? You look a little young to be freelancing as a merc. I'm old enough. I grew up on Omega. I know how to use a gun. So does Archangel. I can handle myself. Besides, I just spent 50 credits on this pistol, and I want to use it. Get your money back. Hey, what are you... Trust me, kid. You'll thank me later. Hmm. All right, so our next up is Transit Hub. So we're going to go after Archangel first. That's our ammo. Don't you have something better to do than pick fights with people you don't know? No, just the ones who get in my face. You see my gun. Do you really want to do this? I... fine. You're off the hook. For now. See you around. About shopping later. Let's get to the transport Are you depot. Expecting me? Oh. Omega, what a piss hole. At least it keeps you on your toes. I've had to come here on business before. I feel like I need a shower afterward, in addition to normal decontamination. about the quarantine zone later. We'll deliver the brandy later when we're done. But for right now, let's go to the transport hub. I'm on the mission. I hope you're ready. Archangel's been annihilating you freelancers. Ready when you are. Get in. Oh, yeah, that's right, I forgot, uh... You have to earn loyalty in this game in order to, uh... And I hear earning loyalty in this game is a lot tougher than it looks. Send me someone who looks like they can actually fight. They tell you what we're up against? Just tell us where to go. Archangel's holed up in a building at the end of the boulevard over there. He's got superior position, and the only way in is over a very exposed bridge. It's a killing ground, but he's getting tired, making mistakes. We'll have him soon enough. I'll get to him. Just point me at that bridge. I like your attitude, but we've got a plan in place. You'll be on a distraction team. Head straight over the bridge and keep Archangel busy so the infiltration team can sneak in behind him. That's goddamn suicide. Pretty much, but you look like you can handle it. Head up to the boulevard and get to the third barricade. Talk to Sergeant Kathka. He'll tell you when to go in. So the bridge is the only way to his hideout? Exactly. Archangel collapsed all the underground passageways and sealed the doors to the lower levels. We've got teams digging, but it's taking too long. If they can get the gunship flying again, that'll help. But I'm hoping the infiltration team will finish the job and we can all go home. 
They were using a gunship to take out one guy? Yeah, and Archangel shut it down. He didn't destroy it, but he knew just where to hit it to disable it. It wasn't even a fair fight. At least not for us. Where's the infiltration team now? On the far side of the bridge near his hideout, but they can't get any closer without being seen. How'd they get that close without being seen? More distractions. Tarek used a gunship to keep Archangel busy. We were able to sneak a few men into his hideout before he took it down, but they're stuck there. We need to keep Archangel focused on the bridge, so he doesn't find them and wipe them out. What do you know about Archangel? I'm the wrong guy to ask. I just do logistics. Tarek and the other Merc bosses have been dealing with him for a while now. But don't be surprised if they're not thrilled about talking to a freelancer. I better go find Sergeant Kathka. Good idea. Watch yourself on the boulevard. Archangel's killed dozens out there already. In's gonna be easy. Out's gonna be a bitch. Let's find him first. Then we'll figure out how to get back. Shepard, I've scanned the area, but I am unable to plot any other paths to Archangel. Guess we're going with the Mercs. The heavy mechs and gunship possess considerable firepower. Weakening them before leaving will improve your chances. As the first wave goes in, the infiltration team will attempt to take Archangel by surprise. Do you need something? You lead the Eclipse? You figure that out by yourself? I'm Jareth. I run Omega's Eclipse. What do you need, Freelancer? So the infiltration team is the main focus of the attack? Tarek's plan, not mine. He doesn't want to lose any more men, so he's throwing you freelancers at the problem. Archangel's not going anywhere, so I suppose there's no harm in trying. Who knows? Maybe you'll get lucky. So you're just gonna hide here while the freelancers get killed? Precisely. You're paid to be a distraction, nothing more. Whether you survive or not is up to you. Why are Eclipse on Omega in the first place? Since you care so much, Eclipse controls almost 20% of Omega. Our transports and mechs keep the Ezo moving. Sounds very organized. Eclipse runs like a well-oiled machine, but Omega is anything but organized. It's a constant battle for control. Then Archangel comes along and complicates things even more. Why does Archangel give you so much trouble? Ask him. I'm just here to make as much money as I can. We didn't come to Omega to be constrained by laws and regulations. He'll regret ever coming to Omega, I promise you. Seems like this is personal for you. He raided one of my transports last month, killed two of my best operatives. One of them was my brother, so yes, it's pretty damn personal. What do you know about Archangel? His life expectancy is shortening quickly. Is that it? Nobody seems to know anything about him. Look around, you'll learn what you need to know. He's smart, he's resourceful, and he's dangerous. But we've got him cornered, he won't be making fools of us much longer. Can I assist you further? Where did he come from? Who is he? Even his team didn't know that. Maybe we'll know more once we have his body. Of course, it really won't matter then. I'll get going. Good idea. So let's see what this data pad has to say. All right, that helps tremendously. There's a data pad, but we'll worry about that later. Immediately, brain shot. Multiple variations of hacking. Locating okay, select the code that matches the code display at the top left corner of the screen. Avoid red codes, find all match before times run out to hack your security.
That should slow them down. Perfect. It'll be hostile if they activate it. You're in the wrong place, Freelancer. You the Blood Pack leader? Name's Garm. That's all you need to know. I'm stuck here waiting till you freelancers are done playing war. Ask your questions and go. When did the Blood Pack attack? Damn Tarek wants us to wait. I hate waiting. But he says the Suns have a plan, and they don't want us getting in their way. Uh, we're supposed to wait until the Eclipse send their mechs. We'll see. All right. Well, like I said, uh, have fun with the stream and uh, make sure to take those breaks. Why are the blood pack on Omega? We're the muscle on this bloody station. You need protection or want someone removed, talk to us. The blood pack are everywhere on Omega. Everybody loves us and everybody hates us. I'm guessing Archangel mostly just hates you. He's just an uptight asshole. I don't really care what he thinks, but he's costing me men and making me work for my money. I'll be the one to take him out today. You watch. I'm the only one who's fought him one-on-one. -on -one. What do you know about Archangel? He's a pain in the ass. He's a Turian, which makes him slightly worse to look at than you. And he's brave, till he realizes you're more than he bargained for. Sounds like you've had personal experience. He tried to take me down once, waited till I was alone. Longest damn fight of my life, but I held him off till my men showed up. He wasn't so tough after that. We chased him over half of Omega. Almost had him, but the slippery bastard snuck away before we could pin him down. I should get going. About time. Leave us alone! Go away, Freeman. Immediately... Brain shot. So we've met two of the three mercenary groups already. This looks interesting. What do you want, freelancer? <laughs> Excuses? Don't have to get that gunship working, or he'll be next over that bridge. Get this freelancer out of here. I don't have time for this shit. I just have a few questions about the operation. Gentlemen, get this scum out of my face. Tarek, what's seen in your ass? Zaid. I take it you two are acquainted? We've crossed paths a few times. Since when do you work for so little? Since when are you a goddamn madman? Talking to this guy's gonna kill me. Almost did already. That bad, huh? Worse. Look, Zaid, I gotta deal with this shit. Jinta, talk to these guys. Answer whatever questions they have. Good to see you. And who knows? Maybe you'll solve my problem for me. Anything's possible. Good thing you know him. Tarek hates having to hire freelancers. He doesn't trust anyone outside the Blue Suns. You don't say. What can I do for you? 
What's Tarek gonna do if the infiltration team fails? To start, he'll shoot any freelancers that are still alive. After that, he'll let Eclipse and the Blood Pack take their shots. I suggested we work together, but he doesn't trust the other groups. What if Archangel survives all the attacks? Then you sons are on your own. That's why Tarek wants that gunship fixed so badly. But it won't come to that. Archangel's good, but he can't hold out that long. He's already been in there over a day. What do the Blue Suns do on Omega? We supply goods to a lot of the groups and factions here. Goods? Weapons, mechs, machinery, you name it, we can get it. We also broker deals between factions. You wouldn't know it to look at him now, but Tarek can be quite a negotiator. How did Archangel get the Blue Sun so mad at him? He harasses and hounds us constantly. We worry that every job is a trap now. Does he know where this meeting is? Will this shipment suddenly disappear? How many men will we lose this time? Tarek's had enough. I don't blame him. What do you know about Archangel? He's a Turian vigilante who thinks killing mercs is a fun way to pass the time. Other than that, he's a mystery. He shows up, usually at the worst possible time, and screws with our work. He can't die soon enough, if you ask me. Why do you hate him so much? He went after Tarek. At his home. Almost got him. Tarek's been on edge ever since, and he's making my life a living hell. Second guesses every damn thing I do. Getting the other Merc bands to help us shows you just how desperate he is. They're as bad as Archangel. We better get going. Good idea. Make sure you check in with Kafka. Damn it. Arms blood pack better wait for my signal. Alright, so it sounds like we got some more uh stuff here for you. Immediately, the reclusive founded by notorious Batarian. I'm looking for Sergeant Kafka. You and me both, pal. He's over there working on the gunship. We go over the bridge when he gives the word. Go talk to him if you want, but I'm in no hurry. I'll be right back. Good luck. Watch out! Kafka? Sergeant Kafka. Be the group Salki mentioned. You're just in time. Were you waiting for us? The infiltration team is about to give us a signal. Archangel won't know what hit him. Got any questions? This may be your last chance. Are you gonna give us cover with the gunship? Huh. Tarek is the only one who flies her. Besides, she's not quite ready. That bastard Archangel gave her a beating last time she was out there. A few more tweaks, she'll be as good as new. Why are you coordinating the attack and fixing gunships? I'm in the infiltration group. Our team coordinates with the gunship. I'm staying back to organize the freelancers and make sure the gunship's ready to go if we need her. So our plan is to jump the wall and hit for Archangel's building? Try not to get killed too fast. You're only a distraction, as long as you're alive. You don't have to make it all the way across. Just keep Archangel watching that bridge. The infiltration team will do the rest. How will the infiltration team get to Archangel? They've got two options. They trap him in close quarters and finish the bastard off face to face. If that doesn't work, they have explosives. They'll just need time to set up. So the bridge is the only way in? Until the gunship's working again or the blaster's finished with the tunnels. Look, we got a plan. We don't need you trying to come up with any great ideas. Just do your damn job, collect your credits, and go home. Are you leading the assault? Ha! <laughs> Tarek doesn't pay me to fight. I just plan the attacks and fix the damn gunship. You freelancers get the privilege of... Target is in sight, where it go? Check. Bravo team! Go, go, go! Archangel's got quite a surprise waiting for him. But that means no more waiting for me. Gotta get her back to 100% before Tarek decides he needs her again. You're working too hard. <laughs> Oh, 
Archangel doesn't have much time left. What the hell are we waiting for? Come on, we'll give these guys a surprise of our own. Watch out! Let's go! Archangel? Our old friend Garrus. What are you doing here? Good to see you too. I'm just surprised to see you. You and me both. Still, it's good to see a friendly face. Killing mercs is hard work, especially on my own. What are you doing out here on Omega? I got fed up with all the bureaucratic crap on the Citadel. Figured I could do more good on my own. At least it's not hard to find criminals here. All I have to do is point my gun and shoot. How'd you manage to piss off every major Merc organization in the Terminus systems? It wasn't easy. I really had to work at it. I am amazed that they teamed up to fight me. They must really hate me. Since when did you start calling yourself Archangel? It's just a name the locals gave me for all my good deeds. <laughs> I don't mind it, but please, it's uh, <clears throat> just Garrus to you. You nailed me good a couple of times, by the way. Concussive rounds only, no harm done. Didn't want the mercs getting suspicious. Uh-huh. If I wanted to do more than take your shields down, I'd have done it. Besides, you were taking your sweet time. I needed to get you moving. Well, we got here. But I don't think getting out will be as easy. No, it won't. That bridge has saved my life, funneling all those witless idiots into scope. But it works both ways. They'll slaughter us if we try to get out that way. So we just sit here and wait for them to take us out? It's not all that bad. This place has held them off so far. And with three of you, I suggest we hold this location, wait for a crack, and their defenses take our chances. It's not a perfect plan, but it's a plan. How'd you let yourself get into this position? My feelings got in the way of my better judgment. It's a long story. I'll make you a deal. You get me out of here alive, and I'll tell you the whole damn thing. If we fight as a team, we'll hold them off. You're right. Their numbers won't help them in here anyway. Let's see what they're up to. Hmm. Looks like they know their infiltration team failed. Take a look. Scouts. Eclipse, I think. That looks like a lot more than scouts. Indeed. We better get ready. I'll stay up here. I can do a lot of damage from this vantage point. You... You can do what you do best. Just like old times, Shepard. Let's give these bastards everything we've got. Drop. 
This will put him down. Not that one. something done properly. All right, let's see how you handle this, Archangel. <laughs> there you go. For a rude awakening. Sending out the heavy mix. That problem should take care of itself. Yep, I hacked it earlier. I guess it's safe to say that Garrus did it all. Come find me before they regroup. This did all right. Good work. This is valuable. Still in good shape too, I'll admit. I guess it wasn't too difficult. You're kicking ass, Shepard. They barely touched me. And we got Jareth in the process. Been hunting that little bastard for months. 
Why were you after him? He's been shipping tainted Izo all over Citadel space. Half the goods I seized back at CSEC came from his team here on Omega. I took out a big shipment a while back and killed his top lieutenant in the process. Not surprised he decided to work with the other mercs after that. We've still got Blood Pack and Blue Suns left. Think we can make a break for it? Maybe. Let's see what they're up to. They've reinforced the other side heavily, but they're not coming over the bridge yet. What are they waiting for? What the hell was that? Damn it. They breached the lower level. Well, they had to use their brains eventually. You'd better get down there, Shepard. I'll keep the bridge clear. Let's split up two and two. Keep one of my team here. You sure? Who knows what you'll find down there? Miranda, stay with Garrus. Keep him alive. Thanks, Shepard. You better get going. How do I get to the basement? Go down a level. The basement door is on the west side of the main room behind the stairs. I'll radio directions if you need help, but you've got to get down there quick. Good luck. Like I said, I also liked Garrus. I think Garrus recovered a little health, so that's good to know. Making another push with teens and fire, but I'm okay so far. 
Deal with Archangel. Going to cover. Enemy charging. Coming. Oh, Jesus. We took out Garm and his blood pack. This day just gets better and better. He was one tough son of a bitch. You fought with him before? Yeah, we tangled once. Caught him alone, none of his gang, to help him. We still couldn't take him out. I've never seen a Krogan regen that fast. He's a freak of nature. He just kept at it until his fortune showed up. It was close, but I had to let him go. Not this time. Only the Blue Suns are left. I say we take our chances and fight our way out. I think you're right. Tarek's got the toughest group, but nothing we haven't faced before. Besides, he won't be expecting us to meet him head-on. Heads up! Damn it! I thought I took that thing out already! They fixed it, but not completely. I made sure of that. They're offloading troops. Watch your back, Shepard. Yeah, I'm not 
There is no... Garrus. Heads up! Getting you out of here, Garrus. Just hold on. Radio Joker, make sure they're ready for us. He's not gonna make it. done what we could for Garrus, but he took a bad hit. The doc's corrected with surgical procedures and some cybernetics. Best we can tell, he'll have full functionality, but... Shepard? <laughs> Tough son of a bitch. Didn't think he'd be up yet. Nobody would give me a mirror. How bad is it? Hell, Garrus, you were always ugly. Slap some face paint on there, and no one will even notice. <laughs> oh, oh, don't make me laugh. Damn it, my face is barely holding together as it is. Ah, uh, probably for the best. Everyone was always ignoring you and hitting on me. Time for you to get a fair shot at it. Frankly, I'm more worried about you. I've heard bad things about Cerberus these past few years. Right now, they're a necessary evil. I need the resources to get this done. I'm fit for duty whenever you need me, Shepard. I'll settle in and see what I can do with the forward batteries. You've received a new message at your private terminal.
How may I help you, Commander? I have a present for you, Doc. Ceres Ice Brandy? You didn't. <laughs> Thank you. I always regretted not opening that original bottle, when I still could. I won't make the same mistake again. Why don't we open this bottle right here, right now, you and me? You crack open the bottle. I'll get the glasses. <laughs> I thought Olenko's biotic display might have broken Jenkins' back, but Jenkins pops up and yells, That was awesome! <laughs> oh, Jenkins. Soldiers like him make the Alliance great. Cerberus lacks the same enthusiasm. With your service record, you could have gotten a tour of duty on any Alliance ship. Why'd you really leave? Maybe it's less about leaving and more about staying. As a military doctor, I mostly treat people who are in bad shape. Often, they die. And if I can help them, they move on. By the way, to the people we care for. May we never take them for granted. Access to the AI core is restricted. like our business here is not quite finished. Next! The Professor. This data pad was on one of the mercs that was after Archangel. They were coming for you next. Let me see. Interesting. Would someone like to tell me how this information slipped the net? I I'll, I'll look into it. Thanks for the heads up, Shepard. Looks like I'll have to do a little cleaning in my organization. I'm looking for Morton Solis. The Solarian Doctor? I always liked Morden. He's as likely to heal you as he is to shoot you. How do I get to him? If you really need to find him, take a shuttle to the quarantine zone. No guarantee they'll let you in, of course. Thanks for the information. Let's go yes. get Morden. Just try not to bring the plague back with you.
Is this the transportation depot? How am I gonna get to the quarantine zone? I gotta go and take another route. this. Hello there. Might I interest you in some salvage tech? Every credit goes toward a ticket to get me off this forsaken rock. I buy a lot of parts and equipment. Maybe we can make an arrangement. Well, you seem like a decent person, but you can't breathe a word of it to Harrod. Of course. Then we have a deal. Maybe I'll at least sell something to you. What brought a nice kid like you to Omega? My pilgrimage. What money I had got stolen within a few days, so I decided to sell salvage parts. You can see how that turned out. Harrod's forcing me to sell high, and I can't even afford a ticket off this station. How much do you need to get off Omega? I still need 1,000 credits to pay my way. But I couldn't let you do that. This is my mistake on my pilgrimage. It's my problem. Why does Herod control your prices? Herod made me swear not to undercut him, no matter what. He was here first, so it's his right. But no one will buy from me when he's so much cheaper. You can't save enough money for a ticket off the station. I could go talk to Herod for you. Get him to ease up. I won't stop you. If you can convince him to lay off, maybe I'll get off this station after all. His shop's up the ramp, near where Marsh sells his goods. Anything you can do will be much appreciated. I have to go. Please check with my kiosk to see what I have for sale. Thank you. Excited. Welcome, human. What can I get for you? Tell me about your deal with the Quarian over there. Suspicious. If I had made such a deal, I would certainly not be around to discuss it. Accusatory. I don't understand how it is any concern of yours. What if you and I make a deal? You let him set his own prices, and I won't break your legs. With barely contained terror. You drive a hard bargain, human. I haven't even started. Resignation. Very well. I will release the Quarian from his promise. Conciliatory. To show there is no ill will, I offer you a discount on my own wares. What kinds of things do you sell here? Friendly. Salvaged parts. All kinds. Mostly legitimate. 
with pride. My prices are the lowest anywhere on the station. You won't find salvage cheaper than mine. I have things to do. Courteously, have a fine day. Take a look at my kiosk if you want to buy anything. Captain Gavel. Why would I tell him anything? I trust you. Tell Gavel we know his tricks. We not kill anyone today. There seem to be a lot of Borcha on Omega. Go away. Talk too much. Gavel's box get no more. We leave. Good talking to you. No more talk. We know Gavel's tricks. We leave. I'll be off the station in no time. Here you go. A thousand credits. Get out of here. I... Thank you. With this, I can finally continue on my pilgrimage. I'm going to buy my ticket right now. Thank you again. Alright, that takes care of that. Exactly how to get to. Oh, of course, it's like this way. A graduate of the controversial biotic acclimation and temperature sacrificed his life to help stop Saren on Vermeer. The council inquiry has concluded that a combat VI that went rogue on Luna was not intentionally upgraded to full AI status. Alliance members have maintained that the VI was for combat testing purposes only. Given these findings, Light on galactic You, sir, you are a blight. You and you, you and you. Oh, this is just a back door. Huh. So I basically went around in a complete circle for absolutely no reason. Oh well. in or out. I told you to get lost, lady. The plague has the whole zone quarantined. Nobody gets in. I'm human, you ass. Humans can't get the plague. Now let me get my stuff out before looters get it. This thing affects every other race out there. We're not taking chances. Nobody gets in until the plague has run its course. So you're saying the slums are completely sealed off? Finally, a human that can hear. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. You can't keep me out. I'm gonna lose all my stuff. I'm doing you a favor, human. Anybody in the quarantine zone will be dead from the plague of the gangs in a few weeks. I didn't think Omega had any kind of law enforcement. Who gave the order to quarantine the slums? Fresh off the transport, huh? Arya Tilope calls the shots around here. She's got her little blue hands on every business in this district. And a plague is bad for business. She hired us to keep anyone from entering or leaving the quarantine zone. There's a Solarian named Morden Solis in the slums. I've got to get in there to find him. The doctor? Yeah, crazy bastard opened a clinic in the district a few months ago. The Blue Suns weren't too happy when he moved in. I hear Morden's trying to deal with the plague. I wish him luck, but the area is still locked down. 
Our orders are to wait until either the plague or the blue suns kill everyone. Then go in and clean up. Listen, you're stuck here until this quarantine is over. That could take weeks. What you really need is to get this problem solved right now. That's what I do. Solve problems. Let me in and I'll get this district straightened out. You think you can fix this? Why not? Quarantine is more to keep infected people in anyway. I'll radio ahead, tell them you're coming in. Wait, you're stopping me, but not them? You son of a bitch. You don't have a grenade launcher, lady. Get lost. A quarantine zone for a plague that kills Turians. Why don't we ever go anywhere nice? This mission is important. I need you to come along, even if it's dangerous. It's your call, Shepard. If you need me, I'm not going to let a cough keep me back. Time to go rescue the professor. So I it's that way. Don't shoot, they're cleared to come in. Good luck in there. Blue suns and Borcher shooting anything that moves. We've been spotted. <coughs> they should punch through their armor. One less to worry about. Over the years, I've grown used. Human. Should have guessed. If you infect us with this plague, now you lack the decency to even wait until I die before you come to steal my possessions. <laughs> is there anything I can do for you? Get away from me, human. <laughs> Your kind has done too much already. Your plague did this to me. Your faint pity is the final insult. Is there anything I can do for Get you? Your plague did this to me. Your faint pity is the final insult. I need to find Morden Solus. Humans looking for the human sympathizer. <laughs> I hope the Vorcha burn Morden and his clinic to the ground. <laughs> I hope you... <coughs> I hope... <coughs> Damn it. Damn you. Can't... Hey, stay with me. This won't cure the plague, but it might help a bit. I told you I'm looking for somebody. Would you rather I let you choke on your own blood? I suppose not. What do you wish to know? When I find Morton, I'll tell him about you. If he has a cure, I'll make sure someone gets it to you. <coughs> Thank you. My time is running short. But at least you have given me a flicker of hope to brighten the darkness of my final hours. I don't want to die. <coughs> Whatever Morton is. I will risk it, if you can reach me. What makes Morden worse than dying from the plague? The Blue Suns tried to press him for protection money. He killed them, stunned them with some kind of toxin, then gunned them down. He's not just a doctor. Doctors don't execute people and display the bodies as a warning. <laughs> Why are you so convinced humans are behind this outbreak? 
The plague is too potent to be a naturally occurring virus. Airborne transmission across numerous species, near perfect mortality rate, it had to be created in a lab. And since humans are the only species not affected, there is only one logical conclusion. Aren't the Forcha immune to the plague? What if they spread the virus so they could take over the district? Forcha are immune to disease. <coughs> A human-created plague wouldn't affect them. But if the Vorcha created the plague, why wouldn't it affect humans? Uh, besides, the Vorcha aren't smart enough to make a virus like this. They're scavengers. <coughs> Sorry, human. <coughs> you may not want to believe it, but all the evidence points to your species. I need to find Morton Solis. He has a clinic on the far side of the district. He's taking in refugees, offering to help those infected with the plague. I was afraid to go to him before. He is dangerous, but perhaps he can help. What makes Morden worse than dying from the plague? The Blue Suns tried to press him for He's not just a doctor. Doctors don't next. You were talking about Vorcha earlier? Before the quarantine, the Blue Suns controlled this district. But as their numbers fell to the plague, Vorcha moved in. The Blue Suns are fighting to protect their territory. But as the plague spreads, it's only a matter of time until the Vorcha overwhelm them. Aren't the Vorcha immune to the plague? What if they spread the virus? Vorcha are every... Sorry, human. <coughs> you may not want to believe it, but all the evidence points to your species. I should go. Goodbye, human. Alright, so our objective is straight ahead. Tried to claw his way out. Can't say I wouldn't do the same.
a shot. Let the stream go for just a little while longer. But I can't believe we all got day. them all. Besides, there was a door earlier I passed up. Here, but uh, oh, thank God, you're human. When we saw that door open, we thought those Turians had found us. Ever since this plague started, the Blue Suns have been out to get us. They're killing as many people as the disease. Why are the Blue Suns hunting you? We didn't do anything. Pretty much every non human in the district wants us dead. They think we caused the plague. Humans aren't getting sick, and that's all the evidence they need. God knows how many of us they've already killed. They should be looking at the Vorcha, not us. Ever since the plague hit, they've been taking over Blue Sun's territory. You said the Vorcha moved in just after the plague hit? Right after the district was quarantined. Vorcha are immune to diseases, so they're not getting sick. Not sure where they came from. Never saw many Vorcha around before. Sure seemed like they were ready for this. Only nobody thinks the Vorcha are smart enough to create a virus like this. Blue Suns need someone else to blame. Like us. You said the Vorcha were taking over Blue Suns' territory? Trying to. The Blue Suns don't go down easy. The plague softened them up, but they still have enough firepower to hold some of their turf. The Turians are getting pushed back. The deeper you go into the district, the more Vorcha you'll see. Unless they see you first. What else can you tell me about the plague? When did it start? The first cases cropped up about two weeks ago. Nobody paid much attention until it started to spread. Usually takes about a week to kill you, but it spreads fast. Three days after the first outbreak, there were over 50 known cases. That's when everyone noticed humans weren't getting sick. Then the quarantine came down and everything went to hell. Any idea how the victims contracted it? Not sure. Probably airborne. Even after the Blue Suns started sealing victims up inside their own apartments, the plague kept spreading. 
Now they just gun victims down and burn the bodies in the streets. Doesn't seem to be helping, though. People are dying by the dozens. Tell me more about the Blue Suns. They're a mercenary gang, mostly Turian. Used to run this district. Kept things nice and stable for the most part. As long as you paid your monthly protection fees, everything was cool. Rates were pretty reasonable. For Omega, at least. Then this damn plague hit. Everyone started dying. The Vortus started moving in. The Blue Suns lost control and the whole district turned into a war zone. I need to find Morden Solus. Oh yeah, him. He's got a clinic on the other side of the district. Heard he's taking in refugees now. Trying to help plague victims. Offering protection from the Suns and the Vorcha. Sure. A doctor with military-grade mechs helping people for free. On Omega, grow up. Sounds like you don't think much of the doctor in his clinic. The Vorcha tried to muscle in. He gunned them down. Just like that. Pop, pop, pop. Didn't even use his mechs. Then the Blue Suns heard he was sheltering humans and they went to burn down the clinic. He killed them, too. Then he went inside and got back to work. He's cold. Must be Solarian Special Forces or something. You can't stay trapped in this apartment. If you get to Morton's, you might at least survive until the quarantine ends. Are you nuts? We'd never make it. The streets are crawling with Blue Suns and Vorcha. We don't even have pistols. Besides, I'm not risking my life on a rumor that some Solarian might offer me sanctuary. I know you're scared. But your only hope is to get to Morden's clinic. I'm going to be under fire from the Blue Suns and the Vorcha, so I can't take you with me. But I promise you this. I'll do what I can to leave a safe path for you to follow me. It's risky, but I think it's your only chance. Okay. You're right. We'll never make it if we stay here. We have to try. We'll wait here for a while and give you time to clear the way. Then we'll head for Morden's clinic, if we're lucky. Maybe we'll meet you there. Actually, I'm going to have to stop it here for now. Um, a little longer than I expected. Um, but thanks to everyone who watched, and thanks to those who joined me in chat. I'll see everyone next time.